Hello world and all who inhabit it. My name's Janae. This is Bimo. This one is Opal and this is Charlie. They're gonna be out while I film this because I'm killing two birds with one stone. So if you hear any jingling, it's them. But I wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite piece of art. So art is very important to me. 100% love art. <laughs> Uh, I've always loved art since I was a little kid. In fact, the one form of art that was my favorite and is still my favorite has been photography. I got into photography when I was in about second grade. My mom used to, she, my mom's one of the most stylish people I know. I love her. She always would just dress up and look super pretty and she would get like her little flip phone and be like, Janae, can you take a picture of me? And I'd be like, of course, mom. And I'd take a picture and show it to her and she'd be like, ooh, I look good, this picture's so great. And just hearing the compliments made me like photography even more because I was like, wow, I have the like power to make people feel amazing. Whoa. <laughs> so um, as I grew up, my love for photography just grew and grew and grew and grew and grew and grew and grew. So once I reached high school, my love of photography just kept growing and I decided to take a photography class. Um, my second year, no, let me give you some more context. In my first photography class, we learned how to use a film camera instead of a digital camera. So I started developing this mindset of Photoshop is stupid. If you're a real photographer, you know how to manipulate the camera to capture exactly what you want. You don't need Photoshop. I still kind of have that mindset. It'll make sense in a minute. Um, as the years kept going and I got better and better at photography, I've like shot weddings, I've shot events, I've done nature, architecture, dogs, ferrets, all the animals, reptiles, like all sorts of different things. Like you name it, I've probably taken a picture of it except for like a cow. Regardless, I have a lot of experience with photography. So as I got more involved in learning how photography works and the history, I became less and less and less and less and less impressed with photographers. So I remember my second year of photography class, I had to do this assignment based on where I had to find my favorite photographer and talk about my favorite picture that they've ever taken. And so I was doing this project and I was going through and looking at pictures and I'm like, ah, Ansel Adams, whatever, I could take this. Just send me to this location, I can take this exact picture. I was very cocky, I'm not even gonna lie. So eventually I found this artist, her name is Ji Young Lee. One thing that attracted me to her art is first off, she does not use Photoshop, which is something I really like. Secondly, everything you see in her picture, she's created by hand. So she does a lot of cool props and has these amazing intricate um, backgrounds. And she does all of them by hand. I mean, she paints them, she doesn't have anyone help her, nothing. All of it she does herself by hand, she's amazing. And I found this photograph that she did, and I don't remember it's, what it's called, I wanna say it's called The New Beginning or something like that, or The Rebirth, Reborn, something along those lines. And it's a picture of her in a lotus flower. Lotus flowers have always just meant a lot to me because they're these they're my favorite flower personally so I see them as the most beautiful flower ever and they grow through this ugly dirty muddy water and just blossom and I've always been like if a lotus flower can overcome like can bust through this mud and dirt then I can overcome anything right so in the picture it's her in a lotus flower and she's being reborn because they also represent new birth and that picture, there's just something in it that resonated in me, and I just love it. It's, till this day, my favorite photograph. It's just a beautiful piece, and it's something I love, and it makes me appreciate photography a lot more every time I look at it. It kind of puts me back in my place, and is like, hold on, hotshot, you're not that amazing. So, yeah, that's my favorite picture. Thanks for watching.